Hey guys, welcome to Farming Simulator 22. That's right, we switched maps and we're gonna start a new series and we're gonna do it different. This map is called Middleburg and it deals with whiskey, which is kind of cool. It's got some built-in functions in the game that allows you to create whiskey and uh, some other alcoholic beverages and then you can sell them on the market. Now this map also has a really cool way of doing the towns. And uh, if we go to the map, you can actually see, uh, if we go to this, everything is spelled out over here on the side, which is kind of cool. So you can kind of see all these little letters and it corresponds with this. And then all these numbers, like number one, that's actually um, farm number one. And then there's a farm number five right there. And then there's a farm three, a farm two, and a farm four. All right. This is the map. It's a 4X map. And it's got uh, a really, like I said, a really cool way of doing the town and the productions. Everything is right here. And um, one of the bigger ones that we need to be focused on is right here. And this is where you make the cracked corn which you then put into a little hidden place over here at farm number one. And that farm allows you to make the whiskey. So that's what we're going to do. Our, our goal is to become the whiskey entrepreneurs of Middleburg. We already have this truck, all right? Uh, let's go through a couple things. We have this tractor and this harvester and then i believe we do not own the farm but we do own that and i believe yes over here is the header for the uh, harvester and then this is a plow and don't believe anything is in here no there's nothing in there and then we also own this so once we harvest we can sell stuff and then we probably be able to buy a cedar all right the problem is, is we don't own this land and this land is worth $1.3 million. So what we have to do is buy a property that isn't as expensive and then eventually we'll get enough money to buy this land, which I think is going to take us quite some time. Might take us a little bit of time actually. But what we can do though, since we own the equipment, is we can actually do some contracts and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into um, the developmental tools and we are going to go and we are going to set this time to March. Nine o'clock is fine. Uh, reload weather environment, reload weather. Um, this is all fine. I just want to reset everything. All right. So let's do this. Reload the weather, reload weather. So we are in March. Actually, why did it not? <laughs> Why did it not go to March? <laughs> Let's go to March. March, day one, nine o'clock. All right, are we there? All right, so now we're in March, and now we need to reload the environment. Or actually, the weather. There we go. Reload the weather. There. So it's March. And you can see the trees are not bloomed yet, but they will here pretty soon, probably in April. So this is what it looks like in the the springtime. Although some of these trees look like they're still a little brown. Or they're just dead. They're just dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so this is our house, I think. I think this has a sleep trigger on it, if I'm not mistaken. What does this say right here? Yeah, this is a sleep trigger. So I can sleep here in the doghouse. Um, but what we could probably do um, is go ahead and see if there's some contracts and start making some money, all right? And then we'll eventually buy a farm. We'll pick out what farm we actually want to do. Um, I, I kind of want to do this one, and there's a reason why. And I'll show you just so you guys see back here in the woods is a little shack and there's a little trail to it it's it's really really cool so back here in the woods you see that little shack right there it's a whiskey distiller and it's inside there seeing that and that's where you make whiskey so we drop the stuff off here it goes into there we add water you can actually make two items that are in here one has to do with uh rolled barley so I think it's a barley wine, if I make, if I remember correctly. And um, those products actually sell for a really good amount of money. So that's how we're going to play. We're going to play it at five times speed all the time. I do have five hundred thousand dollars. I'm thinking that maybe we might want to like take that down to like two fifty, if that's okay with you guys. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to remove money. I'm going to say two hundred fifty grand. All right, and then let's say, um, let's say, okay. 
All right, so we just removed two hundred fifty thousand dollars from our account. We're in March, and so let's go ahead and go into contracts and let's see if there's anything that we can actually do. So we can do cultivating, fertilizing. There's plowing jobs and spraying jobs. So the only thing that we could probably do is the plowing. And we have field three and eighty four. So which one's the closest to us? Probably field three, I'm imagining, since it's like right here. Yeah, so we'll take that contract at field three. Let's take this. Um, oh, God. Okay, it's still there. Good. Uh, field three. Let's go ahead and accept that contract. And, oh, here's supply and transport. Oh, these are cool contracts. So these are supply and transport contracts. So you just have to have the materials. And you can see that there are Walmart sell points. There are really cool sell points on this map. There's like Burger King. There's all kinds of stuff. So let's grab this tractor. This is an old John Deere. I forget what series this is. If we zoom up, we can probably see it's a 4755. Uh, I did not name the license plate, so that is what it is. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of that. I want it, the least amount of stuff on the screen as possible. So let's grab our, our plow here and let's back up. There we go. So let's go and we'll go to field number three and we'll plow it. So yeah, I, I found this. I've actually had this map and... Uh, I ended up deleting it because I was thinking that it was a different map. Is this field three here? I don't have my map on. I guess it would help if I had my map on. Uh, I can't even see it that way, can I? It doesn't show the numbers. So let's go back in here. Uh, which one is field three? Actually, we just need to go to X. So field three is way up here at the top. So we need to go all the way to the top of the mountain. Um, but yeah, I, I deleted a map that I thought was this one. Um, um, or I deleted this one thinking it was another map. <clears throat> And um, I remembered that this one had the whiskey on it. And I know in our last series, we really didn't have a direction until further along in the game. And then we finally had those cool packages that ended up making us a lot of money. But it was kind of uh, anticlimactic for me. I thought it was going to be a lot harder. And it ended up being not as challenging as I thought it would be. And then I just, at that point, I didn't even want to continue playing because that map is kind of, it's flat. You know, if there's nothing to look at. I'm a visual person. I love seeing like all the trees and all this. This to me, just driving like this in this game is freaking awesome. I don't even know if I can open these windows. I can't. Some of these tractors, you can open the windows. But yeah, I mean, we can play this one and just and just take our time. I'm not in any big hurry. I would like to make a lot of money doing the wine and then maybe eventually we buy all these fields back here and turn them into vineyards but there's just so much land on this on this map if we go in real quick and just look usually when they make maps they don't allow you to buy all of these spots usually like all this would be like one right and all the roads would be one but it's not you can buy all of these spots which is fantastic now you can't buy this because that's all part of the production area but there are little properties with inside these if you click on them like that one there these are empty lots that you can put your own productions in which is really freaking cool uh, but the properties are really expensive which i like because it makes it challenging right if they're not like 70 grand which you can buy a bunch of them if that's a legit two, uh, 175,000, 134,000. but they're big properties i mean you got 11 acres that's a pretty nice size property um, and then there's this one up here. This is way up on top of a mountain, but this is all one gigantic farm. It's freaking beautiful. So that's what we got to deal with. Now, listen, if you guys are interested, if you'd like to play with me on this map, let me know because uh, I have no problems with sharing this one. Am I too far? Where are we at? I missed our, I missed our property. We needed to go back here. So I need to turn back in that road. Um, I have no problem sharing this map and having people come and play as long as you play responsible and don't complain uh we'll 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 have a good time on this one and i'll even uh if you're on what what there's a fence here uh can i open this fence open gate oh check that out man if i was riding a horse i'd kill the horse so we're gonna go back here and plow this property on this little bank back here and it would be cool if we could till that corn though or harvest that corn 
I think that the production facility that makes the cracked corn is actually $40,000, which we could buy right now, but I just don't have. We're going to need some money. So let's go ahead and get this started. I don't know if, uh, if I click on, let's see here. If I click, I forget what button it is. Is it um, the delete button? No, I have course play on, so I might have to play with that. That'd make it easier on this, but since uh, we're just going to be taking our time, I'm actually just going to do this. What do you mean I'll access this land? Isn't this the property that they told us to harvest? Yeah. Three. Did we not accept the contract? Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> um, plowing. Field three. Plow it. Active. Plow field three to loosen the soil. That's what field we're on. I mean, is it... I don't get it. I'm on field three. I'm on field three. <laughs> uh... uh is this a cultivator? Oh my god, I wonder if this is a cultivator. It is, it's a cultivator. Oh crap, that's why. Lift it up. Um, oh crap, I thought that was a plow. Can I, does this have two attachments to it? No, it doesn't. See that front part, it looks like a, a plow. Oh man, I wish I could lift that cultivator up. Lower cultivator. Change crews, select next tool, G. Oh man, that sucks. So we have to get a cultivator. Oh my God. All right. Um, so I got to go get a cultivator. I'm going to lease it. And that's going to take forever because we are way up in the mountains. So I tell you what, I'm going to go get it. Uh, we'll bring it up here. We'll lease it. Uh, if it might be worth, I don't know what. Let's go into our uh, garage real quick. Let's just go into our garage. I want to see what horsepower this is. So this is only 190 horsepower. How do they expect me to plow with 190 horsepower? Um... Let's go into plows and let's look at what we can do here. Is this a plow? That's 340, 400, 130, 260. I mean, we could still plow with it. It's just a matter of if uh, how fast the tractor goes. So I might get like this one. It's really small though, isn't it? It's super small. Okay. This one is two meters. That one's four meters. We might get this one. All right. We might lease this one. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and go back. You know, we, sh we should have probably just leased the equipment that came with. I don't know if I can still go in the contract and lease the equipment. I don't think I can. Okay, well, let me go get the, let me go get the plow, and then I'll be right back. All right, I wanted to give you guys a look at what the the little area looks like outside of our woods you can see the pond or the river is kind of high i don't there's something weird about this map where i feel like the water changes i really do um i am actually going to take this tractor over to the dealership and we're going to exchange it for one that is on the market as a used vehicle and it is a magnum and it's for sale for half off so that's what we're going to do. And I I am fine with doing that because I want the horsepower. What does this sign say here? Customer service department, right? I think I have to open the garage. Yeah, I don't know. I think I have to pull it in here if I remember. Let's see. Pull it in here and sell it. All right. Can we do this? So we can sell it for how much, though? Does it say 94000 That's not bad. That's half of what I'm getting ready to spend. All right. And then the vehicle is this. So it's this, it's this case Magnum. Okay. And then I want to put in the 435 engine. And then we do want a GPS system. And I'm not worried about this other stuff. The wheels are fine. This is fine. It's got a three-point hitch at the back. This is all fine. So it's 171,000, right? So we're really only spending like 80 grand total. So let's go ahead and buy this. I don't have any miles or time it has on it. Let's actually check when we get it. All right, so it is, is it out here? Where did it put it? Oh, it's way, <laughs> it's way down here. All right, so let's go check it out. I don't know how used it was, but we still have $173,000 and this will help us at least do a lot of these projects. So it's got almost 30 hours on it and that's not bad. Um, and then what we can do now is we can lease a legit, uh, heart or a cultivator. Um, and what I want to look at real quick though, is, uh, let's, if we go to contracts, there's a lot of cultivating contracts, but there's actually plowing contracts as well. And the plowing contracts seem to be a little bit more expensive. So I wouldn't mind doing some of these plowing contracts. So I'm going to accept these plowing contracts and, um, get a bigger plow. Like this one here is lot 93, 111. Where are those two lots at? Let's look 93 and 111. So. So 111 is here, 
and 93 is way down here. So 111's here, and we are sitting basically right here. So let's go ahead and do the 111 one. Excuse my dogs from barking. So let's go ahead and grab this plowing of field 111. So to get some $19,000, uh, let's accept that contract. So we have uh, two, actually we have three plowing contracts. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and lease. All right, so I leased the culty plow. Hopefully it allows us to use this. I'm not sure if it will or not because it's a plow, but um, the stop brake stuff's gotta go. So let's go in here and turn off the stop brake. Uh, I think it's down here. Uh, stop and go break on. There we go. All right, so let's take this and let's plot our route. I have no idea where we're freaking going. All right, so we need to go out this way. All right, make sure no cars are in the way because there is a lot of traffic in this map, like an extremely amount of traffic. <laughs> so we're going to take this to lot 111 first, and then we'll do lot 11. Yeah, here comes a freaking truck. All right, let's scoot over. Then I need to turn this way. But you can see this map, it's it's very, it's very well done. Like the rivers are well done. The trees, the, the overgrowth, it's got culverts. The mountains are well done. Like it's just a really good map, really good map. It's hard finding maps that are very eye pleasing and they feel like they're an actual place. Like just this, like, like these little details of, like getting into the farms, the way the farms are laid out. This is exactly what you would see. This reminds me of Southern, like the Southern Ohio area. I'm from Ohio, so this reminds me of like down by the Ohio River. You got the, the tall hills on both sides. It's kind of cool. All right, we got one guy behind us. I'm gonna see if I can let him go around us. Oh God, hurry, 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 hurry. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go down here. Looks like we got to pass maybe a river and then make a left. And it looks like we might be that property that's just up there on our left at the top of our windshield. So we'll plow that one. We got plenty of jobs to plow. If we can get back to our 250 uh, here pretty soon, I think that'll that'll be a good goal just to start off the series with. Oh my God, that's like a waterfall right there. Now the issue is how do we get up there? So it looks like there's a little opening right here. All right, all right, let's get out and open this. Open that, and right, let's get it in here. So our property is going to be at the top here on our left. I like how you have to open up all these gates. It's kind of cool. All right, that's a really long field. <laughs> that's like a really, really long field. All right, so let's pull in here. All right, let's open this up. Hopefully, like I said, it'll allow us to do this. Hopefully, uh, is perfect. All right, cool. All right, guys, I did the uh, little fast forward thing, uh, but what you guys didn't realize or notice, or maybe you did notice and I didn't, is that that machine was plowing it, but at the same time it was cultivating it behind it. So it removed all of the plow status. So I did the whole entire field and then realized it showed we had 1%. <laughs> so 
uh yeah you can't use that machine so i've had to redo it so we're already i mean it's going on uh three o'clock in the afternoon so i got that one done so we are done with that job that one took forever so let's go to this one and collect our funds uh collect so nineteen thousand two hundred dollars not bad and then field 44 is the closest one to us and I think that's the only one that I'm going to actually do it is right here. So it's across from, um, we're way over here though. So it's across from the dealership. So I'm going to drive over there and do that one. Um, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do all three today. So I'm going to try to get this one done at least. And then um, I think the contracts aren't time limited, are they? I don't remember. Are contracts time limited? I don't believe so. Um, no, so they're not time limited. So I can get that one done uh, tomorrow. And that's the one that's up by our house. So that's kind of the um, a closer one. The only problem is um, we're going to have to keep doing these jobs until we get... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get money. And I believe that I picked the hardest survival setting. So I think that if we go to our bank account, I believe we are maxed out on our loan. So yeah, we've already taken 200,000 out. So we are um, a hefty amount of money in the hole. So actually we're not, I mean, we're only what, 12, what, 22,000 in the hole total. But still, if we paid that off, I wouldn't have any money and we still wouldn't have uh, enough. Let's see if we can let this guy go past us real quick. So let's zoom in here. I'm going to go past us. Thank you. Anybody else coming? No. Okay. I feel like my mouse is there. The sensitivity. I had to click it down. Okay. So we're going to go do lot 44 and we'll get it done. I think that one's the $9,000 one. So that'll get us up close to 190. That will be 188,000, 187,000. So now it should just start here and then do our there we go. That's what we wanted. Except it's not tilling it. Why is it not tilling it? Stop. Why is this not? Is it? Is it tilling it? <laughs> is it? It shows 5%. Why is it not changing the field status? That is so weird. It's going to turn around and go back to the last waypoint. See there? It did it there. All right. Let's just see if, it, if the contract percentage is going up. It doesn't look like it is, though. All right, let me check this because it doesn't look like she, like it's uh, yeah, see, now it's it's plowing that little area. That's so strange. All right, we're gonna do this one, and then um, after that we will look at what we want to get into for next episode, and um, you know, look at what money we have and what would be the best course of action. So, let me do this lot real quick, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, so we just finished that job. Let me go ahead and grab... Oh, that's completed. Uh, collect. So we got that job. I was looking at some of these bailing jobs. I mean, it wouldn't be that difficult to grab one of these $50,000 jobs um, and just use their equipment, right? So it shows here that we'd get a, a tractor, two tractors actually, a tractor, a baler, and then a mower... And then a tether, a wind rower, and then a, a baler, a pickup. So that might be worth us doing. We might do that next episode and play with some grass. How did we get in here? Over here. That would be, uh, here, let's fold this up. I'm going to take this to lot three. Lot three is real tiny, so I'm not worried about getting it done. So I had to turn course play off on that lot because uh, it just wasn't, for whatever reason, even though it showed that we were, we were actually plowing it wasn't plowing so that's a that's a weird thing going on there it might be a course play issue i'm not sure so that field's done and then so we're gonna go and do field three so we do have one hundred eighty-eight thousand dollars. so we're making back some of the money that we have or that we spent like what we start out with 250 i think so we're seventy thousand away like if we did the if we did the grass job that would get us real close to the 250 now our property that we uh, need, I was going to say, is that my driveway? <laughs> the property that we we need to buy is like 1.5 million. So that's the issue. Um, I don't think we can get that much money. I mean, that would take a while to get that much money unless we can uh, get money from the bank. So that'd be the only thing that we could do. But I don't think the bank will loan us a million and a half 
geez, a million and a half dollars, unless there is a, a mod that will allow you to do that. I don't think there is. I might look into that. Uh, I don't mind taking out a loan and paying it back. That's kind of one of the, you know, advantages of having a bank and then doing jobs is you can just pay the bank back. And it would kind of give us, um, you know, something to look forward to and keep us from spending a bunch of money because we're in debt. So we need to pay off our debt. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take this up here. I think that's all I'm gonna do today, guys. If you like this map, let me know. Um, I like it so far. I mean, it's a lot better than some of those other ones that we were doing. It's not flat. There's a lot more to look at. The trees are pretty, the grass is nice. Uh, I do get an, an uh, a notification up in the top that says the horses are happy. Now we don't own any animals, so I don't know what horses they're talking about. So maybe on one of the farms, there is some horses but at least this one i don't think this this property up here on the hill has horses i think it has cows it's not horses um so is this it here no this isn't it here so it's gonna be this one up here so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and cut it here um i will see you in the next episode make sure you smack that like button hit the subscribe button and uh let me know if you guys are interested in playing along uh, i'd be more than willing to get a server up and uh, we can all farm together. So I'll see you next time, guys.